What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jody Mother Keep back again with another daily dredge. If you tuned in yesterday, you saw us beat Steel Stompy with the new updated lands list. Quick recap: We're going with the three and one split on the Rashad and Ports Ghost Quarters. Uh, of course, we have our four wastelands. We have all our utility lands main deck, and we have the removal suite of two Pungent Fires, one Molten Vortex, and a Barbarian Ring. Everything else looks pretty standard. We have the full combo eight. And this is our sideboard. So let's get into the game. We lost the die roll. Our opponent kept seven. This hand has acceleration. It has an enabler to find an engine and life from loam. And it also has crop rotation, which will be good. Um, I, I definitely, this hand is a keep. And I would look to play the exploration on turn one, followed by a wooded foothills for a tiger to gamble up the loam as early as possible to get that going and then hopefully keep our crop rotation off the gamble. That's given an unknown opponent, but we'll see what it looks like. It's an island deck. This could be a spell pierce. And now that we picked up the Thespian stage, if this exploration resolves, then we're looking at a turn to, uh, a turn to 2020 which I think we're going to attempt to make. So in this instance, we're not going to gamble for the crop rotation, uh, gamble for the life from loam, because we don't necessarily need it right now. We're really looking for an opportunity to resolve a crop rotation for a Dark Depths. That's a Baleful Strix. Okay, now our opponent might have force a will, but I would think that our opponent would force a will in exploration. So with that in mind, I think we should just go for the uh, crop rotation now. Well, right, let's take a draw. Because it comes out the same. Okay, they have six, so we'll go right for the Dark Depths. Thespian stage, and we'll make the 2020 here. Keep this one. And then we'll try and gamble for the Loam. Collective like Brutality. It's an interesting main deck card. It's notable that our opponent did not choose to gain two life. So I'm looking for a wasteland to try and keep him off a. A good draw would have been a wasteland to keep him off a Jace. We did lose our gamble, which had access to loan. And we won't play our tabernacle here in case we do draw a gamble, we'll have a shot at keeping the loan. Okay, 
it's Liliana. It's not as bad as a Jace. So we really need to find a loan here. We'll play out all of our lands, pass the turn. This looks to be a Sultai deck. Could be uh, some kind of Leovolt deck as well. So right here I'm going to crop rotation the bog away. This might get hard cast forced. Doesn't seem to be. And I think in this spot getting a grove of the burn willows might not be bad. Barbarian Ring can actually kill that Liliana, which is, 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 I think we'll get the Barbarian Ring. Oh, this must be Lincoln Baxter. He plays a lot of lands. Now we will get back the stage, the ghost quarter, and the bazooka bog. This will probably get hard cast forced. Or our opponent might crop rotation and make a 2020 in response. That would be the worst actually. Yeah, we're dead. That was a very aggressive play with the, the Barbarian Ring. Yeah, let's let's get him to get it out of his deck. Also, we could have sacked the Tabernacle instead of sacking the, the Bajuka Bog. To be fair, it would have been tough to beat that with the Wasteland anyway. So post board, I want the Tireless Tracker. I want the Ancient Tomb. Choke seems plausible. Uh, I assume he has some kind of Mox Diamond, so I think Ancient Grudge is a good card to put in. I don't think the chalices are too bad. I think what we'll do is we'll cut one gamble, one mall vortex, crop rotation's fine. I think mana bond is one of our better ways to interact. Punishing fire is good too. We don't need the glacial chasm. We can cut down on maze of Ith. Probably trim all the maze of Iths actually. Tabernacle can go. Bog is good. I think Dark Depths is a liability, so I think we should cut a couple of those. 31 lands. 
I think this is fine. Okay, I'll keep this hand. Opponent molding the six. So we'll start with an exploration. Into a thespian stage. And it's important to play the stage instead of the wasteland because the opponent might actually fetch for a duel on turn one. And he molded six, so we could try and play around surgical extraction. I think I'm just gonna play out. I don't really want to play out this tracker. I think it's fine to just waste here and then loan it back. I don't want to deploy the tracker yet and play the wasteland. Pass the turn. We're more than likely going to get surgical off of this loan. I think that's okay. I mean, it's not the best spot to be in, but. If we could draw a land to go with this tracker, then we can we try and run the tracker down. It's a very aggressive play. We made two two aggressive lines in a row, both being on the play. It was very aggressive. Uh, alternatively, you could play the tireless track without making a clue, but that opens it uh, up to uh, collective brutality or some kind of removal from our opponent, and then making that other play the next turn. That might have been better because then you can get the clue. Because once you have a clue and mana up, they can't surgical the loam. So now we get to see what the opponent does. Fetching basics. Rainstorm, okay. Probably looking for some kind of removal or a mox, possibly. A mox would be a good draw for the opponent. Our opponent also knows that we can threaten this 2020 off these crop rotations next turn. It's really important whenever you play really any magic deck that you know what information your opponent has, what information you have given away. They know we drew Riftstone Portal last turn. That one was pretty fairly obvious. So in this spot, I kind of want to cast the crop rotation. Uh, I'm not really sure what I would get. 
maybe a port. We could try and make the 2020 or present it to where if our opponent does something. I'd like to get as much damage as Tracker. If we're going to crack a clue, I'll, I'm, this is what I'm debating whether I'm going to do it now or later. attack. Not going to crack a clue. Then I'll pass the turn. And then upkeep will have an effect. So right here I'll actually just get a Rashad import. And then use the colos that have floated off the ripstone to port the island. So I'm going to go ahead and draw off the clue. This allows our opponent to wasteland us, which I think is okay. We will lose the stage and we won't get the value off the crop rotation, but I think overall drawing a card here is, is a better place to be. Start with a waste on the wasteland, and then whatever he tries to waste, we will crop rotate it away. Guess we can get the dark depths here. Because we can actually activate the dark depths. We should probably do it now. wants to crop crop rotation for a wasteland he can or for a crocus rather but this is going to guard us against Liliana ooh Cephalic Coliseum that's a nice include So I think they're just playing the Sorcerer Spyglass to 
gain more information. I don't think there's any way out of this spot other than crop rotation for Caracas, and then our opponent's mana will be really messed up, and then hopefully the tracker can run it down. Wasteland, okay. So I'm going to bog the opponent. Attack with both. was wondering about whether he could name a clue with Sorcerer Spyglass, which indeed you can't. Alright, this is going to get the Caracas. We're going to crack this clue here. Now we have the Punishing Fire Grove to finish him off. If he does manage to Jace or Liliana this Tireless Tracker. Cephalid Coliseum. Maybe this choke isn't actually that good. Okay, so since we know Surgical is involved, it's possible that we don't want the Mana Bond. What we would want instead is Flesh and Wall. I think we can cut one of these gambles. And we can get a K Grip in here. This hand is definitely a keep. We have acceleration with the mocks, and we have the tranquil ticket to protect. So we'll lead on the mocks. the shelter thicket play a fetch land play an exploration and we'll play Caracas
So upkeep will fetch get the taiga drop return. Okay, so we can crop rotate into a port. upkeep let's start with the wasteland and let's just waste this uh, fetch And then we'll attempt to loan back all three lands. Should fetch a swamp here. I kind of like crop rotating for a ghost quarter here. It's possible they have a forest. So let's just loan back the three lands. Misty Rainforest. Having both cycle lands is pretty important here. Ghost Quarter would probably be the best name if, if he doesn't have a counter spell for the crop rotation. Otherwise, naming Tranquil Thicket might not be bad or Wasteland Protectors of Mana. There's a lot to name here. Presumably, can't name Vesbian Stage either because he's playing his own Vesbian Stage. Ghost Quarter, yep. 
The man's a master. <laughs> Lincoln ba Baxter, folks. <laughs> He was getting force willed. He's got force will, pitch two cards, surgical. He can force and then next turn maybe abrupt decay or mox or waste our land to take us off mana to where we can't have the two mana cycle. So I think it, we should definitely play the fetch land and the wasteland. Or fetch land and thespian stage. What's he going to surgical? Uh, thespian stage? Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be like a punch and fire or track it, tracker game. for a long one. So now we'll play the Misty and we'll play the Wasteland. And then we'll crack the Misty for a forest. And I think port might be in order. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I meant to port the opponent. Yep, here comes Bill for Strix. It's less rel relevant now that we're not going to be playing a uh, little Mox Diamond real good. I guess it's good that we save this crop rotation now. Lost another tracker? Hmm, that's tough. Gonna waste the weight uh fetch. We're pretty exposed to surgical extraction here.
Okay, exploration down. So I think in this spot we'll play the uh, wasteland. I'm gonna try and port this island. That could be a good play. Keep him off Jace. Attempt to keep him off Jace. This does give our opponent an opportunity to wall him, which they're digging heavily for. So if they get if they catch a surgical here, then we're toast. Doesn't look like they have it. I'll take a draw step. Okay, so that we can gamble up a uh, tracker, or we can gamble up an ancient grudge, which is like way better. We don't have Ghost Quarter yet. We want to loan back the Bog, the Thicket, the Grove, I think. Possibly the barbering. Probably the grove. Yeah, definitely the grove because now we want to grove. We can play the grove. We should have got back the forest instead of the grove. That's all right. We got the grove, and then so now we can port the island again. is pretty good. Waste the wasteland. He'll waste back the port. We'll go ahead and cycle the grove and then cast the loam. Oh, maybe we should have bogged.
now we actually want to see the uh, the ghost quarter. So we'll go ahead and loan back the uh, barbarian ring because we're gonna have to start clearing out these creatures, the thicket and the wasteland. Now we have two land drops. We definitely want to integrate this mox. Possibly flash it back. Again, we should have came after that forest. Wasteland. Barbarian ring. Integrate that mox. Three, we lost our port. We need to find that ghost quarter ASAP. Close and grip, that was a decent draw. Cycle. Dredge. Long make the ghost quarter. Tranquil thicket in the forest this time. We got five minutes left, so at this juncture we need to protect our loan from surgical, so we can take another three here. Then we can get the bar bringing. Step dredge, grove, barbering, ghost quarter. Definitely tap my man wrong. Play the ghost quarter, ghost quarter to black. Play the barbering, and then pass the turn. Seventeen cards left in my deck. Is this tracker out here? All the trackers are gone. We can't really dredge alone anymore. We can dredge it one more time, maybe. Draws here, cancel. Loan back the uh, ghost quarter, the bar bring, and the wasteland. Green black. Ghost quarter. Ghost quarter forest. Play the 
dark depths. Fast turn. Let's go to Bird and Cat. Maybe sandbag and wasteland till this turn. That's possible. We can remove all four counters. Maybe we should have done it right here. natural wasteland. Plays Caracas. Find some fast fingers. Wow, what a game. Yeah, if, if he ever drew a loan.
Yeah, so if you ever drew a, uh, a Jace, um, I mean, he had the Jace, and if he would have ever drawn the second blue source when we crop rotated for that port. Great games, always a pleasure. All right, great, yeah, Lincoln. <laughs> great games, bro. The, uh, um, yeah, I've, I've played against Lincoln plenty. Uh, I think maybe two or three other times live, and I've never beaten him. And uh, the matchup's really tough. He, he's very familiar with the matchup. And uh, basically, if, if you get aggressive against the crop rotations, as you saw in the first game, um, then you really play into your opponent's crop rotations. You really want to be the one on the receiving end. Uh, you want to be the one defending with your crop rotation and not being aggressive. Sometimes you have to get aggressive, but usually the second person in crop rotation is, is generally you know, in a better spot, I would say, at least if you're getting aggressive with your crop rotation. Like I was very aggressive with my wastelands in the first game, and we threw away the loam the second game, but still managed to win with the tireless tracker because that card's insane. Um, but man, that was that was a deep game. <laughs> and then after losing the Desbian stage, we knew it was going to be a long one. So we, we shifted gears real quick into Mana Disruption. And luckily it was just enough to keep that Jace off the board. Because if that Jace hit the board, we would have had an aggro punch and uh, aggro barbarian ring it. That would have been trouble. We almost decked. We only had six cards left in our deck. So it was, it was great. It was a good game. Uh, the Chalice showed up a little late. I would have liked to see the Chalice. I would have liked to have seen the Chalice before we uh, made the 2020. That way we could guard against a crop rotation for a wasteland or a Caracas or whatever. So I think actually our opponent's Caracas was still in, in, in their deck. So the Ancient Grudge really shined there. We were able to gamble for the Ancient Grudge after losing our ports. And we lost our ports in a precarious way because we forced the action with the wasteland on the upkeep. It might have actually been better to do it differently. But it all worked out uh, because... The Mox Diamond, uh, having the gamble for the for the Ancient Grudge, being able to destroy the Mox Diamond was the same as being able to port for that turn, but it did give him a turn or two to catch the, the other blue mana, but then the Ancient Grudge, the back end of the Ancient Grudge was able to take off the sp Swords of Spyglass while we dug real hard to find a Ghost Quarter because we lost our ports. We played it real slow in the middle, just gaining uh, a card advantage off the loam. That was, that was the best way to do it. And, but then whenever the situation changed, we had to ramp up our efforts. That's the thing about playing lands is knowing when to ramp up and ramp down. But I hope you all enjoyed this match. I definitely enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Learned a lot. Played fast. It was, uh, it was great. So I'd like to hear your comments down below. Any questions uh, about plays or deck lists or just your comments about what you think about the videos. I definitely enjoy all the feedback and I'll be looking for it. Um, one love, good vibes, everybody have a great day.